Watson. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. I have a few questions to ask you. Okay. What motivated you to join the military? Well, the reason I joined the military, my mother and father was in the military, so I got to travel a lot when I was young. Um, by the time I got to high school, I realized that's what I wanted to do. Um, so I went to college for two years and decided to join in 95. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Thank you. What was your primary job after training? So, um, I had two jobs. My primary job after training was a cable system installer, uh, which fell under uh, satellite signal communications. Uh, basically what that was is if you had some people that's going to the field, uh, you send a team out early uh, once the tents are set up and you run all the cable in for communications and out to the vans. So that's what I did. That's so interesting. Thank you. Where did you serve in the majority of time and training? Overseas. Um, I was in Texas for a couple of years, but I spent most of my time in South Korea, in Germany. Uh, I enjoyed it, so that I, whenever I could, I would I would go out there. Nice. Yes. Tell me about some of the special people you met. Um, man, it's 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 so many. Uh, I keep in touch with with majority of them. Uh, I one in particular is a Chris Mullins. Uh, he was at my first sergeant when I first went in the military, and I, I he became my mentor. He is the reason I decided to stay in because he, he was just an awesome person. Um, older gentleman, he retired probably a couple of years after we first met, um, but he showed me what a leader is, and you know he made my first duty station awesome for not just me for the whole company. Uh, he was just an awesome person, so I, I think if I had to pick one in particular, it would be him. Wow, that's really special. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me, for what was the best and worst military food you were served? Oh man, there's no such thing as the best military <laughs> food. <laughs> um, I will say, uh, during the holidays, uh, so military bases have a facility called the Chow Hall, and um, on holidays, they would go all out, decorations, you know, just for the soldiers who aren't around their family, they can go there and eat. Um, so, I would have to pick the holidays to be the best meals. Um, the worst meals by far are MREs. So, basically what MREs are, they're meals ready to eat. So, if you're outside in the wood line, uh, they give you packs. And it's probably 10 of them, different meals, like lasagna or whatever. It, it says lasagna, but it, it's questionable, you know. <laughs> so you get a, the, the meal has a heater in it. You can put, you heat the meal up, and it's, it's okay. But if you haven't eaten, it's, it's a meal. It provides the calories that you need. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Tell me a funny story that you experienced in the world. A funny story. Um, later in my military career, uh, I became a combat advisor, and uh, to to uh, the Iraqi army. So we had an interpreter, um, and we were talking to a guy, and one of my coworkers was telling the guy he was selfish. So the interpreter didn't really understand what selfish meant. So he was telling the guy that he sold fish. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the guy was like, I don't sell fish. And you know, we went back and forth before we realized, you know, it was it was a translation <laughs> issue. But we, we we everyone in the room thought that was funny. <laughs> that so, was really funny. Yes. How did your military experience affect your life? Um I loved it. I I think it's something that I wish everyone could experience, uh, the camaraderie from it. Uh, it just showed me, you know, the, the value of teamwork, um, trusting people. Uh, I think those are the two biggest lessons I learned in the military. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for having me.